Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be going over a topic that I mentioned in my Displayland tutorial, and that is how to crop photogrammetry inside of Houdini. So what you're going to want to do first is import your file. You can do so by creating a file node, by hitting tab and typing file, and then just navigate to where you saved your mesh. Next, what you're going to want to do is create a group node. Again, hit tab and type group. You're just going to want to enable uh, the tick box for keeping in bound in regions. And if you can't see the little handles on the cube, you can just hit enter in the viewport. And now we can just make out the selection with the cube like so. So we can either type in the size value or I find it easier personally to just drag out the bounding box size. Right, so for the next part to work, we just need to change the group name. I'll just rename it to keep, but you can call it whatever. Put down a blast node, tab, type blast, in the group input, we can put the name of our group, which is keep. And because of the way we set this up, we just want to check delete non-selected as we selected what we wanted to keep. This pretty much wraps up the core part of this tutorial, but there's still a couple of things I would like to cover. So if we just zoom in here and have a look at the nodes, we have the name of the node and then the name of the group, which we set to keep. Something which you might find makes your life easier is to connect these two values together. So if we go into the group node, we can change uh, the name of the group to dollar sign OS. Now, if we change the name of the group to keep, see the blaster works, which is nice because now you don't have to like dive into the node to change the name. You can just make changes here by clicking on it. Another thing which is handy to know is a way to always have our mesh centered no matter how we crop it. So if we connect up a transform node after the blast, in the translate field, you can just type dash centroid, so C-E-N-T-R-O-I-D, open brackets, zero, comma, space D underscore X, close brackets. And then we can just copy this into the other values. Just change out the X for Y. And then finally just change it out for Z. And this centers your mesh to the grid. See how if we make changes to the mesh, let's maybe only select the sofa. When we go back down to the transform node, you can see it's still keeping its position center to the grid. Okay, cool. So I think this pretty much wraps up all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.